They change our lives and improve our well-being. They dedicate their endless determination and talents. Together with the Hebrew University's top scientists, they have achieved amazing breakthroughs for 50 years. Yisum and the Hebrew University, celebrating 50 years of commercializing innovations. Congratulations, Yisum, on reaching 50 years. I am very happy to work with Yisum, the best technology transfer company in Israel, and I hope we will have many more successful years of working together. We all know that the road to commercialization is a difficult one and Riva Stigmin was no exception to that rule. But with the strong support of the scientists of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Marta Weinstock, we overcame these early challenges. And today, Exelon is available in more than 90 countries across the world. I think we can proudly say that together, we are making a difference in the lives of over one million Alzheimer patients every year who are being treated with the drug. During the next 20 years, we learnt a lot more about Alzheimer's disease, and therefore I made a new drug, Ladostigil, and now at Yisum, together with Avraham Pharma, is testing this drug in 13 different centers in Israel and Europe in patients with mild cognitive impairment, and we hope that it will indeed prevent the development of Alzheimer's disease. Yisum, 8,500 patents filed. Our most important product is the first FDA-approved nanodrug called Doxil. Here are two vials of Doxil. You can see the beautiful red color of the drug. Almost a half million patients around the world have received the drug since it was introduced in 1995. In 2014, Doxel remains the backbone of treatment for women with relapsed ovarian cancer. I started my interaction with Isum at the end of my PhD thesis. Uh, I remember that I was very happy because I got uh, every year for a few years 600 Israeli Pounds. A few years ago, Joni and I spent the afternoon at Yasum. Over the years, I had worked with Alberta Gabazan, but had not met Chesi Berenholtz. I departed Israel on an overnight flight to Beijing. After a long nap, I began to chat with the passenger next to me. When we got around to talking about each other's work, I realized that I was talking to Chesi. It was a wonderful coincidence that allowed me to thank him for his valuable work. And tonight, I thank Yisum for its role in making the best thinking at Hebrew University available to the rest of the world. Yisum, 2,450 innovations. It all has been started with a mutation that inhibits the shelf life of tomatoes that was discovered in Canada. Professor Nahum Kedai and myself were the first one in the world to exploit this trait and extend the shelf life of tomatoes from a few days to a couple of weeks. This enabled us also to develop cherry tomatoes, trust tomatoes, and many other crops that are now being grown worldwide. I'd like to wish you soon all happiness in its 50th anniversary and hope to celebrate with you the hundreds. You soon. 750 licensed technologies. Our laboratory is focusing on nanotechnology with an attempt to improve the performance of drugs. Today, with our new technologies, we are able to bypass the liver and go directly to the bloodstream without degradating the drugs. Thanks to this technology, it is possible, probably within two to three years, that these drugs can be safely administered orally. Thanks to Yisum, today we are reaching new heights and new expansions. Yisum, 300 new job opportunities created annually.
My applied research is breeding of a blocky type pepper suitable for growing under passive greenhouse conditions with high economical value for the farmers. Our project has been carried out for the last 20 years and we are the market leaders in the major markets like southern Spain, Israel, the Arava Valley and Mexico. I want to congratulate Isum for its 50th anniversary. I wish they'll have lots of work in the future from researchers at the university and continue to give us good service like they do today. Yisum, 350 active research projects. We at the Hebrew University, the Faculty of Agriculture, focus on the nanobiomaterials. Coal Plant is a public traded company today uh, that makes human recombinant collagen in plants. We, for the first time at the Hebrew University, were able uh, to uh, introduce all the five human genes uh, that are responsible for making collagen into tobacco plants by genetic engineering. And today, uh, the company has 20,000 square meter of greenhouses all over Israel. The plants make the collagen, the collagen is extracted, and from which uh, the company are uh, making uh, medical devices, implants that are used all over the world. I believe that uh, the role of Isum is maintaining the legitimacy of uh, the Israeli Academy at the Hebrew University by allowing uh, the good science and the technologies to be transferred to the society that actually support the Israeli Academy. So congratulations. Isum, 90 startup companies. Mobilizing the business of uh, preventing uh, collisions. We uh, developed and manufacture a microprocessing chip, a system on chip, this small thing here, that processes visual information coming from a car and estimates whether the driver is about to enter into a collision situation and prevents the accident by active uh, braking. These kinds of systems reduce the chance of accident by more than 50%. But this is really a life-saving uh, technology. And uh, Mobili is the leading supplier of these systems. We have more than 80% uh, market share. The future is even more exciting. There are going to be revolutionary changes in the way we drive. Uh, we are launching autonomous driving capabilities. You can drive on a highway up to 140 kilometers per hour. You can let go of the steering wheel, let go of the brakes, let go of the throttle, and let the car drive on its own uh, safely. Yisum, $2 billion of annual product sales. These are only a few of our exciting inventions that we have commercialized over the past 50 years, and there are many more. Together with the world's leading researchers here at the Hebrew University, we will develop more products and create more startups in the next 50 years. Soon, where science means business.